Today, we're gonna talk about the 4090 Ti, the 4070 non-Ti, and the 4060 Ti. And we'll talk about the Titan as well, well, what little bit we know about it. Now, all this information is coming from videocars.com, and while usually the reporting is fairly accurate, I must remind you that all of this classifies as a leak or a rumor, so all this information is subject to change, and so definitely take it with a grain of salt. Now, let's go ahead and rip the Band-Aid off and get right into it, so let's talk about the Titan and the 4090 Ti. Now, the reason why I'm coupling these together is because the specifications are so similar. You can see it has the exact same amount of CUDA cores. It has the exact same amount of L2 cache. It even has the exact same memory bus. And the memory speed is also the same. The main difference here is that the Titan will have up to 800 watts of power draw, whereas the 4090 Ti will be more like the 4090 and have a maximum power draw of 600 watts. And also the Titan is said to have two 16 pin connectors where the 4090 Ti will have the standard one 16 pin connector. Connector. Also, it is worth noting that total memory is 48 gigabytes on the Titan versus 24 gigabytes on the 4090 Ti. Now, I'm not surprised that Nvidia wants to release a 4090 Ti but I really don't think it's necessary. Let me explain. So first of all, the 4090 is absolute overkill. And if you've ever looked at benchmarks, you already know that the 4090 is more than enough for anybody who has it. But secondly, the 4090 has no direct competition. AMD and Intel have put out nothing, and I mean nothing, that comes anywhere near the capabilities of an RTX 4090. NVIDIA is good. There's no need to waste manufacturing resources or anything like that putting out a 4090 Ti that quite frankly, most people will not be able to afford. And talking about affording it, let's talk about the price. How much do you think the card will cost? I'm absolutely confident that the 4090 Ti will probably be $2,000 or $1,999. And the Titan will likely be $2,399 or $2,400. Now you may be asking me, where are you getting those numbers from? And honestly, it's quite simple. First of all, if you look at the 3090 Ti, that was $1,999 on launch or $2,000. And then secondly, if you look at the product stack, you basically have a 4070 Ti at $800. If you increase that by $400, you now have the 4080 for $1,199 or $1,200. And then if you go up another $400, you have the 4090 at $1,599 or $1,600 MSRP. So looking at the history of the 3090 Ti combined with a $400 price pack, pattern, I would say the 4090 Ti will be $1999 or $2000. And the Titan will definitely be more than $2000 because it's obviously coming with more memory and two 16 pin connectors instead of just one and more power draw. Now is that enough to justify another $400 on top of a 4090 Ti? In my opinion, no, it's not, but let's see what happens, I guess. Now in terms of availability, I have absolutely no idea when these cards are coming. And I think Nvidia needs to focus on the lower end graphics cards and getting those out the door as soon as possible for gamers. So the higher end stuff honestly can wait and that can come out whenever. Like I said, I don't really think a 4090 Ti is even needed at this point, but obviously it's coming, but when, I don't know. But now let's talk about the RTX 4070 non-TI. Now, as we can see on videocards.com, they're reporting from a Twitter account, T4C Fantasy. It says the reference RTX 4070 will have a base clock of 1920 and a boost clock of 2475. The first AIB to finish a 4070 is colorful with their Ultra WOC line with a boost clock of 2505. Now the release date is not officially confirmed, but it looks like they're guessing quarter one, 2023 sometime. Now looking at all the specs that they have listed here, we can see the 4070 is clearly cut down from the 4070 Ti, which is what you would expect. It has less CUDA cores, a lower base clock, a lower boost clock, and it has lower teraflops, but it does match the 4070 Ti in terms of memory specs across the board. And of course the overall power draw is lower when compared to the 4070 Ti. Obviously, if you're not impressed with the performance of the 4070 Ti, you're probably not gonna be impressed with the performance of the 4070 because it will be slower than the 4070 Ti. But the big thing that can offset that will be the pricing. But now the question is, how much will the 4070 cost? And honestly, we don't know for sure but 
really it's either going to be six or seven hundred dollars it can't be eight hundred dollars because the 4070 ti is already at that price point and it can't be five hundred dollars because the 4060 ti is rumored to be around five hundred dollars so it can only be six or seven hundred dollars and knowing nvidia and knowing how the pricing has gone this generation i'm gonna say they're probably gonna opt for the higher price tag and go with seven hundred dollars i could be wrong it remains to be seen but I'm thinking the 4070 will be $700. And last but not least, let's talk about the RTX 4060 Ti. Videocars.com is talking about Copite 7 Kimi once again. We've talked about him before. Basically, he's reporting the 4060 Ti will be a 3070. Essentially, it'll be a 3070 all the way around in terms of price, and performance and if we look over here at this other chart for the 4060 ti we can see once again it is cut down from the 4070 it has less cuda cores less memory slower memory and yes of course it requires less power but you're also losing in every other category we know this card is supposed to be targeting the rtx 3070 for the same price of a 3070's msrp of 499 or 500 so i'm gonna be honest here I think the 4060 Ti is a complete waste of money. Now, the only place it kind of makes sense is maybe you were interested in a 3070 at one point, but maybe you weren't able to get a 3070 for $500. And now Nvidia is trying to manufacture less and less 30 series cards and really focus on the 40 series cards. So now basically you can get a 4060 Ti for the same price and performance of a 3070 and you'll have access to DLSS 3 and frame generation and it'll be more efficient. So that's cool. But at the end of the day, this is not really a big deal at all. This is not innovating. This is nothing to write home about. This is not impressive. I'm not jumping for joy for a 4060 Ti that is basically giving us the exact same thing we already have with the RTX 3070. I have a RTX 3070 right back there in that PC, the Mario PC that I built on the channel that has a RTX 3070 in there. And I paid the MSRP of $499 or $500 for it on launch. So the 4060 Ti here, in my opinion, is a little bit of a letdown, but hey, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe you see something that I don't, so let me know in the comment section down below. Are you excited for any of these new cards at all? Are you planning to get a 4070 or a 4060 Ti or maybe a 4090 Ti? By the way, if you're wondering what all of this stuff is right here, this is a big, big custom PC project I'm working on. Stay tuned, there's gonna be a lot of PC building coming up on this channel. I got not one, but two, fully custom PCs. It's, it's going to be awesome. So get subscribed so you don't miss it. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button because it goes a long way in helping me out. And until next time, E-Rock out.